Hello, this is a 2001 Ford Taurus with the dual overhead cam, and I want to change the fuel filter today. So one of the things that you might have sitting around is the owner's manual. If not, you just go to YouTube like most people and figure it out. So number 30, that's the fuel pump relay. And you can check that over here by seeing number 30 fuel pump relay. Um, I did learn something interesting that I've never heard about in this car for some reason. And that is resetting the fuel pump shutoff switch. And it describes how the fuel pump may actually shut off in the event of a collision and also goes into details about how to reset it. Now I'm not confident that I can turn off the pump by using that switch, but anyway, here's the relay, right? And you just pull it out. I believe one of these fuses also goes to the fuel pump, but I can't find it in the book. It's either this one or this one, I think, but the relay is enough, as you'll see. Uh, all you have to do, make sure your car is properly secured, placed in park, then you're going to uh, attempt to start the car, but since the fuel pump is turned off essentially, it's not gonna get any fuel. That helps you because when you go to get the fuel filter off, it won't squirt out fuel all over you. So make sure you're in park, make sure you got the brake on. You should use some blocks behind your car. Anyway, this is the fuel pump shutoff switch that I've never even heard about before. But apparently if you push that button there, you can reset it. There's a procedure for that, okay? You don't need a whole lot of tools. Uh, I do have a little bit of a problem with this because as you can see, uh, my advice is you want to get under the car and take a picture of different parts that you're about to replace so when you go into the parts store or you order them online you make sure it's a similar looking part sometimes they give you the wrong part sometimes they think it's uh, the Vulcan engine or the flex fuel engine or they have something else in their system not correct okay so clearly that's the filter right and uh, it has a bolt that goes back there onto that harness and it's an eight mil bolt. I was able to get a socket onto it really easily. The difficult part here is not just the fact that you're gonna get fuel all over you, but you have these plastic clips and they're difficult to get out. So when you're pushing those clips out, even when they do provide you with the clips in the box, which they did not, and I should have checked it, uh, these generally break when you try to take them out they're difficult to remove and difficult to install the new ones. For some reason, they never seem to fit correctly. So I end up reusing these anyway. So I'm real careful when I take them out. And uh, you're just gonna need basically pretty much a couple flathead screwdrivers and then maybe a needle nose to try to push that through and then something else to sort of push through that, that space there. Okay, so it's not real hard to do. Uh, you're going to get dirty, you're going to get gasoline, and um, that's about it. So pretty much a do-it-yourself job.